Now let's see what is Hooke's law. The scientist uh, Robert Hooke stated a law that is regarding the relation between the stress and strain. In our daily life also we may have this experience that whenever you stretch a rubber band with a little bit force, it, exp it elongates by uh, little bit, means a little bit elongation will be produced when you apply the little bit force. As we increase the applied force, uh, then it is elongates by more elongation. Means uh, as a stress is increased, uh, you observe that a strain is increasing. Means uh, here stress and strain are directly proportional to each other. But this relation is valid uh, whenever the applied stress, whenever the applied force is in a within elastic limit of the body only. Means uh, whenever the rubber band is stretched uh, with a heavy force, then it could not. Uh, show the relation stress directly proportional to the strain means this rubber band can withstand up to uh, can uh, show its elasticity property can it's a uh, it can uh, follow the Hooke's law up to particular force only so that we define Hooke's law like this here within elastic limit the stress is a uh, directly proportional to the strain means as we increase the stress uh, strain also increased uh, within elastic limit only means stress and strain are directly proportional to each other within the elastic limit of the body only so the relation between stress and strain according to the hooks lies that stress proportional to strain here now here we write uh, stress is equals to some proportionality constant that is capital e into strain here e is the proportionality constant and which is called here is called uh, modulus of elasticity e is called modulus of elasticity now the hook statement of hooks law is nothing but stress directly proportional to strain within the elastic limit and uh, stress is equal to e into strain where e is the modulus of elasticity so for modulus of elasticity we write the formula e is equal to stress divided by strain again here we discuss uh, three types of uh, different modulus of elasticity there are three types of different modular elasticity depending upon the based on the three types of stress and uh, three types of strain before going to discuss about uh, three types of uh, modular elasticity first of all we discuss about uh, stress strain curve means uh, by increasing the stress how does a strain is uh, changing in a wire means uh, we are going to discuss about a uh, behavior of a wire under gradually increasing load now here we are going to discuss about uh, stress strain curve this topic also is nothing but behavior of a wire under gradually increasing load now to study stress strain curve means to study the behavior of a wire under gradually increasing load now let us uh, consider a wire which is which is suspended from a rigid support suppose this is the wire suspended from a rigid support uh, now suppose the original length of the wire is a uh, capital l initially the wire is a uh, hanged on its own weight means uh, we did not attach any load we did not attach any body to the wire so that the elongation produced in it is zero means uh, in this situation the stress acting on it is zero and strain produced also zero now how do you calculate the stress and strain here we know the formula stress is equal to restoring force by area and uh, restoring force by area or applied force by area here applied force is zero by suppose it's a uh, area of cross section is capital a it fits radius is a area of cross can be written as pi r square now that is equal to zero when no load attached uh, stress is equal to zero then what about strain when no load attached here when no load attached uh, no elongation produced here when load is attached the load produces the tensile strain tensile strain means uh, increase in length by original length no load attached no increase in length 
original length is capital L that is equals to 0 means when no load attached stress is 0 strain also 0 means like this what we are doing actually here we are suspending different amount of loads here correspondingly we are calculating stress values for each load suspended here we are calculating the strain for example initially we suspend some 100 grams load here for 100 grams load how much is the stress when 100 grams load is suspended we calculate the elongation and also we calculate the